rise to Marietta. A group of Cobb County students win an international space station competition for their out of this world plan to grow crops in outer space. Chelsea Vinefor went to Sprayberry High School for a demonstration of how these STEM students did it. Science, technology, engineering, and math, all subjects that students at Sprayberry STEM Academy are interested in pursuing professionally. And now they can add a huge accomplishment to their resumes after figuring out how to grow beans in outer space. Or it goes to Cheers and tears erupting from this group of students and teachers at Sprayberry High School when they found out they'd won an international space competition. For the kids to win this international prize, I honestly, I, I, we were in shock. The NASA-sponsored Plant Mars Challenge tasks students from across the world with finding innovative ways to grow crops in outer space, and these kids figured it out. <laughs> Our students received that soil sample from uh, the University of Central Florida's Exolith Lab, um, and that simulant then we can modify and uh, fertilize and water in all sorts of different ways. In here we have our Mars beans. Alina Dang is one of the team leads for the Sprayberry STEM team that worked all semester to grow royal purple beans in Martian soil. The vegetables were even planted in pots created by the students using 3D printers. They were designed with a little window, so we are able to see the root developments. You're welcome. Teachers Todd Hefflinger and Dr. <laughs> Hannah Oldham say the innovative student-developed design involved growing beans from multiple generations, which captured the eyes of NASA scientists. So we harvest a bean and use those beans to harvest again and again and again, with our goal being that we can create beans that are more hospitable to hospitable to Martian soil and not need as much earth soil. The sustainable plan landed them international acclaim. But along the way, these kids also learned how to be leaders, critical thinkers, and standout students. All that hard work just paying off in that way. It's such a huge accomplishment. I could not be more proud of them. Very proud of them. And during this course of the project, these kids also got to interact with NASA scientists and researchers online. And yes, they're planning on entering the competition again this semester. So congrats to them again at Sprayberry High School.